hello aliens hope you are doing great and in this video i'm gonna be coding on uh, hacker rank and teach you how to code on hacker rank uh, 30 day of code so basically this is hacker rank side and in this uh, you can code and you can actually become a hacker uh, on coding the good one okay so this is my profile you can check me there dmgss2580 okay so this is 30 day of code uh, problem and this uh, each day you will get a code or problem uh, which you have to solve uh, by your method okay so let's cross this and we have to solve hacker rank hello world day zero problem so let's get started mm. in this challenge we review some basic concept that will get you blah 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 okay we have to read task to complete this challenge okay so one uh, thing i want to tell you that c++ is my favorite personal favorite language so I'm gonna be coding on basically C++ so if you are from Java background or any other Python background so um, this video is not for you okay you can skip so yeah uh, if you have uh, opened this video click on this video so watch it uh, the task is to complete this challenge you must save a line of code uh, input from yesterday in to a variable print hello world on a single line and finally print the value of your variable on a second line so you have not got this okay so let me teach you sample input should be welcome to 30 day of code uh, which will be inserted by the system itself okay uh, the sample output should be like this which we have to work on this so firstly the hello world should be printed and uh, then the welcome to 30 day of code should be printed okay so let's get started uh, firstly um, the reset the code okay so where is the problem okay let me find so basically hacker rank uh, gives us the uh, code x percentage of code uh, then we have to find an error or we have to just uh, use our skills to solve this uh, uh, code or problem you can say so uh, I'm gonna be using hit and trial method if you like it or not okay so let's get straight in the video uh, declare a variable name input string to hold our input okay this is correct because a string variable is basically used to input a string okay uh, if you use char variable or character variable then it can store only one uh, single uh, first digit okay if uh, we have used uh, char in place of a string so uh, what will be the output okay so run this code um, compilation error okay this is where you have got this okay you can't use char for a string type variable uh, because a character stores only a single digit value uh, and it has a space of one bit you can say and so i'm gonna be using a string here uh, which is okay and read a full line of input from study i am and save it to a variable input string uh, the system has used cat line 
to store this uh, string which is correct I think and then print a string literal saying hello world to std uio std out using c out c out hello world and uh, then i think that if we have to print hello world before the welcome to 30 day of code then uh, hello world is uh, already printed so we have to use this in our code okay you can't use directly this into our code you have to uh, use some basic fundamentals to print this uh, welcome to 30 day of code which has written there and to print this you have to use c out then angle brackets then you can print the input string just like this string and then you can use angle if you want because an angle is used to just skip the or skip the or it is used as a break or to move into the next line so and uh, I'm gonna be using and then you have to use this semicolon because this is a big mistake the students do while coding because they miss this semicolon so I'm gonna be running this code right now uploading processing mm. compilation error okay so where have we got wrong bro This is correct a string input string. Okay, okay, okay. The hyphen is not there, bro. Uh, see here, input string should be printed, and we have printed the input hyphen string. So we have to erase this hyphen and capitalize this. S because the C++ language is case sensitive obviously and we have to uh, remove this icon and put it there the capital S so now this is right I think let's run this code okay congratulations you have passed the sample test cases okay click the submit button to run your code against all the test cases okay I'm gonna be submitting this code right now so we have submitted it congratulations okay success we have achieved the success okay bro so let's end this video and meet you guys in the next video where I'm gonna be showing you how to solve or how to code actually on hacker rank actually hacker rank is very beneficial side if you know in the interview process hacker rank is basically used for the selection round and companies basically use this as their coding platform for their students okay so yeah Let's meet you guys in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care and have a good day.